we got David Clark and Delaney Dunn. Row number eight, Jonathan Hamburg, John Good Kelly. Luck, everybody. Row number nine, we got Curtis Martin and Kenton Crossland. And last but not least, Chuck Phillips. Get that's on true. lap one. Yeah, that's right. He did hit the wall. Chuck Phillips. Uh, um, Pass me well. outside. How about that? Get ready to go here. Just wait until everybody does grid. Uh, I'm back. There we go. Kenton, back, it's son. okay. It's a Thank you. dumb American thing. Blue the horde. I can I got that. Just the time. <laughs> You're good. I got my Civic Type R out here. Now Looking for the 32 real fast. Oh, Jesus. I'm in the Civic Type R. Huh. Alright, here we go. Pace slots are off. We're just waiting on the pace car to roll. And don't worry about the ticker that you all see right now. You'll see Hal's name up there. I'm going to change, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, it will. <laughs> yeah, since Adam and... <laughs> Sorry, Tyler, I didn't realize you were talking. I had Over or under on cautions, uh, Hal. Do we have more than six cautions this race? Uh, we'd have to wait for it to go down this year. Um... I, I want to say probably at least five. So, yeah, maybe under. But it really depends on how people uh, handle the car once the tires start wearing down. And, um... We hit the dips to those uh, inclination changes, you know, or if they stay off the darn apron. Jonathan Hebert said way over. I'm going to go with we're going to have actually under all the costumes for the rest if we do, but we'll see. Mm. You see the ticker up at the top is just getting everything uh, ready to go. I wish we could actually choose the pace truck for third. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, I just I love the way that looks. One hundred ten laps. This race actually won't take long. One hundred ten laps does not take long at all at Charlotte. No, it shouldn't. Warming up these tires. For people on a track, does carry over. It is a carryover state from qualifying, not from practice. It is from qualifying, so there is going to be a little bit of marbles still out there flying around. Yeah, you can see the marbles on the track. Um, Which makes no sense, by the way. Some of it's like sand, too, and it really makes no sense because there's no beach in the Charlotte, so I don't know why there's so much sand or dirt or whatever <laughs> it is. Pace cars in, and we are. I hope I'll turn my spotter off. Green flag. Go, go, go. Of course, you had side by side, 99, side by side with the 14 and the 19. Whoa, snaps out to the outside a little bit there. Mike Vernon was trying to punch uh, somebody down. And that's normal, that's just you know, trying to take away some air from the car. Uh, a little bit of side drive in the corner, trying to slow the back. Oh, Lauren and Chris are getting a little loose there. Contact with the 14 and 88. Is that going to bring out first caution? I don't think so because uh, it wasn't too bad. It was a slight, yep, there comes the caution. That's where the 14 was stopped on track and caution flies. Uh, nobody nice got damaged there, there, Dave. That was uh, we'll get our instant replay here, though. Not as I can see. And, uh, you know, Johnson Hamburg also went around the map. Huh. That's strange. How did he get caught? Let's still back a little bit further. I don't know why it keeps showing me Jonathan. Or, you ought to get a kick off there in that first lap. Checking we'll up watch on it right now. Watch the replay. At the 30, or 14 and the 88. We'll, we'll get 14 black caught black. there. Let's see what else is. What is it? Hambrick, what happened to Hambrick? Looks like he was all... Yeah, so he was all by himself the right there. Was kind of uh, hammered, yeah. but the rest looks good. Let's take a better. look there. Ah, Hammer caught the grass twice. Uh, the second time after the start finish line, and that's what destabilized his car. 
that could have, uh, no, the Robert Lanton had actually come back out into the track. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Um, I looked at that hound. I don't really know who to give to. Um, it looks like it would go out to Robert Land. That would be my guess because he comes back out. He couldn't, yeah. yeah, he couldn't stop in time to, um, stop himself down on the apron. Yeah, so he will get an EOL. Um, he's back here in the back anyway, but he's going to get an EOL, and uh, he'll be all right. So, first penalty of the night will go to Robert Land of the Cottom, 14. So, one lap, well, two laps in the race, I guess you can say. We just took a second. I will uh, I will say, though, no major damages, no major anything. All three drivers that were uh, in that, in that for a ball. Damage, and I don't know how he got it. I think him and the 88 made a little bit of contact, and that is the 32 of Joshua Banks. Yeah, he there was, the there was a little back. contact. There was a little bit of contact, and I believe that was uh, just before the start finish line. Uh, I I think in the back straight, I saw the 88 snap outwards. Uh, I believe yeah. after a little bit of contact. Absolutely. That was our first caution of the night, as. Uh, Robert Land and William Cruz could get together and in a separate action incident. Uh, Jonathan Hamburg goes for a wild ride. Not a lot of damage though enforced by any car on that, so that's one good thing. These guys only have one fast repair, by the way. You coming in? So in we're good. cutting down on how many fast repairs we actually have during the races now. And I think that makes it interesting. Yeah, it's, some of these people are going to really. Uh, Really gonna think about when to savor that yeah, fast yeah. repair or when to actually use it. And a lot of these guys that only have minor damage might wait until the um, very last pit to utilize it if they don't accidentally use it. You know, I do wish that um, they'd make it so that way fast repair wasn't automatically checked. <laughs> so you don't have to uncheck it every time you enter yeah. the damn pit. Because how many yeah. times I've accidentally done that. You, know, you can actually go into your setting and actually fix that. Oh, you can't. Uh, it's under your IRAs and documents. I actually have mine like that. Oh, I, uh, I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah, I try not to tell people. So I don't <laughs> well, now just just see, so you know you've told everybody. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to tell anyone, and you just told everyone. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Right. Uh, we'll just go back and we'll edit this whole part. <laughs> yeah, we're we'll just. Hold on, I gotta pause the stream. <laughs> What did he say again? <laughs> you, can't that. you can't do that, guys. I'm lying about that. It was just a joke. April Fool's. <laughs> yeah, it was just an April, uh, Easter joke. It was just an April, Easter joke. We are doubling back up. Uh, about to go back green. For people wondering real fast, um, next week, we go to... Wait, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all about next week. Mike Bruno on the outside. Um, Joshua Banks on the inside. Coming down the back straight. Looks like the lights are off. I was trying to figure out where we go next week. But I'm not showing me right now. Alright, I'm, I'm not quite sure. We go somewhere. Alright, let's step into the eyes of car number 19 here. And see the pace car. Oh! That's not really going to work out. If people want to how it got broadcast up as well. Yeah, some things are still screwy. This thing dev. As we are off. Yeah, we are now off. See the 32 right there gets a good start on that uh, And it's able to clear the knock Oh, that kick out a little squirrely. David Phillips. It's the 03, putting a little bit of a block on his teammate Tyler Cox. Took a little bit further look back here in the field. Take a look here at how Kenny Cross is going. Running 15 right now, right behind Delaney Dunn. And, no, actually, I take that back. That's not Delaney Dunn. That is the 88 Cruz and the 07. Oh, I can't believe that. I was going to start with the 86. Uh, then Robert Van right behind Kent as well. Yo, Mike. Trying to here. Delaney uh, trying to figure out a way to get by this 88. He was really starting to make a little bit of ground up. 
Like I said, the way she really started to improve, and you start to see how she shot. She shot with so much more confidence. Now she did touch the apron right there, just bailed out the five to get a run. But here comes the lady looking underneath. Oh, and they make contact. She's going to go spin to the inside. Hard into the wall. Hard not. Yellow, yellow, yellow. The. Blew up. Oh, no. Oh, 27 almost makes contact with her. Let's go back and look at that. that Second caution. He makes contact. Seven. Very good. Yeah, contact with Curtis Martin. Oh six. Oof. Yeah, that was a hard wreck right there. One more time as she makes contact with the 06 and around she goes and upside down blown up and sparks fly. Let's take back in the cockpit here. Do you think it's fear? By the way, all that happened, my girl wasn't protected. Do you think she pit? Do I think she should pit? Of course. Do you think Mike Bruno should pit? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's too early. Oh, they're coming anyway. 003 stays out. 97 to 1. Everybody else coming to pit road. The 88 also stays out. 88, that's probably a smart move by him to actually stay out. But here we go. Pit stops coming right at your screen. Yeah, Kyle, Kyle Shop and Tish stayed out, huh? Yeah, Kyle Shop and Tish, Jumper Shet, Derek Kimberton, and William Kruske, and I think. Nope, error. And I think Robert Land? No. I think Robert Land. Yeah, Robert Land also. You see Mike Bruno's time on pit road. That is a new thing we got here on the bottom. 14 seconds on pit road. As the race continues off, see how the guys going. Yeah, 14 1. Fastest uh, pit time with. From Cody Blackmore. Yep. 14 1. Very yeah, very fast pit stop for him. I'm just making sure. Oh, wait. 13.4 for Cody Blackmore. Is that right? Is that what you got? Oh, I see a 14.1. Okay. I got Adam Meyer at a 14.1. I got Cody at a 13.4. There's no way he hit a 13.4. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, if he hit a 13.4, that's amazing. Good for him. Something wrong with our game. With something wrong with our game, say yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Next week. Yeah, it gets very fun next week. Oh. Talladega Super Speedway. Talladega. And uh, you all want to see some crazy wrecks? <laughs> Come and watch the CFR Championship at a Super Speedway. <laughs> that's yeah, Joe Burchett back in the pits again. Yeah, I think that was scheduled. You know what? I think he actually did. I think he stayed out thinking that he was going to get the lead. John Kelly as well. And I think that he realized he wasn't going to get the lead, so. Yeah. They're trying to get that uh, that free lap, essentially. First team. Because it's always a good strategy if you're trying to get points for your team. Although I don't know if it's too late in the game for that. <laughs> yeah, I was here looking at... Uh, that's going to allow Kyle Sharpen here to actually get a point and a bonus point for the team, so that's going to help him a lot. Um, and AC Motorsports, so thank you, Kyle. Um, Derek Pemberton also, Derek's actually starting second. Derek's second, William Kruskin third, Robin Land fourth, Mike Bruno so, fifth, Tyler normally, Cox sixth. Normally I would be surprised that Derek's even up there. Be honest, man, he's gotten a lot better himself. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad to see a lot of these drivers that stuck with us through all these seasons. It's. It's. It's kind of. It's really awesome and inspiring to see a lot of these guys who have improved. Um, you know, like John Kelly or Delaney Don, uh, Derek, Derek Pemberton. All these guys that stayed with us. A lot of these other guys, they're already good, but there's just made some improvements here and there that just made them even better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens during this restart. Mike Bruno is the first guy out there with fresh tires. Um, we didn't go out a ton of laps under green. Uh, we only got like four laps under green, to be completely honest. So yeah. we're really going to see what tire ball off is really like. I think this is a good test for Kyle and Derek and Rob. Um, William Kruska has a little bit fresher tires than the top three guys because he picked during that last caution. Um, 
But, you know, it's going to be really interesting to see. Now, another interesting fact is that Tyler and Cox, and that went to the 07, by the way, just spinning to the inside. How you might want to delay this green by one lap. Uh, sugar. I think, I don't know what happened there. Uh, throw yellow? Yeah, throw yellow. Hang on, right. don't go green. Okay, she caught the back of John Kelly, and instead of running into him, she just slings her car around, so she almost caught it, you know, almost did something bad. So she did a smart Run. thing. I'm not there. Had a car turn side That was a smart the move uh, uh, by the lane you're doing that. So. Simple. Thanks, John. I just unmuted to let everyone know when you did it for me. That's all right. I'm paying attention, but... Kyle Sharpett here choosing a high line on this restart. Yes, he certainly did. I love that paint sheet, by the way. I really need to fix it more. <laughs> I, blue. I love I it. it. He's got the blue, uh, I don't think he realizes that he forgot to paint the, uh, the blue fin rails that's on top of the car. Oh, man. <laughs> I think he may have forgot it, but other than that, the paint looks amazing. I love it. The CFR logo looks amazing in red. <laughs> it really does. I like that. And I should have jumped out in the lab at least once, because uh, I pulled up my Z1 dashboard to see if I can get the track map up, but it doesn't seem to be working. By the way, that's one thing this app does have that I got. Oh, track map! Yeah, it's not a track map. Yes! <laughs> are you haven't figured it out, or are you just... I haven't figured it out. I'm sure right, We're coming around. Pit car is diving in. We're just waiting for uh, Kyle. Go. They're going! Green flag is out, Kyle's up here, Derek Pippen from Atlanta. We've got a battle back to the third now, it's pretty good. Battle on the inside of 14. Derek with the lead here, Derek Pippen. Yeah, Derek pushing on the inside. Easy, <laughs> breezy, beautiful cover girl right there, all the way. When is Derek, as, now Derek's like, what do I do? Derek stole that. <laughs> William Kruska also following him behind, taking it too. Mike Bruno also taking it from him. Kyle uh, Chavatier is going to fall back even further. And he just lost his teammate, Robert Lehman, falling in behind uh, David Phil. Uh, uh, Kyle, no, sorry, Tyler Cox. Yeah, it's, the O3 is really hurting right now. I'll tell you, the tire's really hurting. Now, Derek's putting a little bit of a block on here on the 88. Uh, a little bit. You've know, got to be careful going there. Derek doing a great job here. Look at the lead out front. That's impressive. Now, he's going all the way Look, here comes the 88. Oh, the 88 hit the 8. That's going to lose. Going to maybe give up in the second spot to Mike Bruno. Bruno looking to the outside and they're going to turn number one. And uh, now, no, Tyler Cox. A little bit of contact between the 88 and 99. Just a little bit. We've actually seen that happen. He's actually falling back. We're down in the apron. That was very dangerous right there. I don't know. Almost. Tyler Cox sitting, trying to decide which one's going where. A little bit of contact. Nice catch by Mike Bruno. It's 84 and 12 gets in the back. 84, 14. Robert Dan's caught by Kyle Charpentier, and that's going to be another caution. Oh Jesus. Uh. Yeah, all that started up front with the 88, I believe. Around they go. No damage on the cars, though. That's one good thing. The 06 goes around. Let's, uh... Try to get a hand through here, pal. Uh, better yet, let's wait just a minute. I want to see what the uh, one is going to do. I don't want to bring him in yet. Let's see if he's going to hit. <laughs> Guys are really aggressive right now out front. That caution actually did not come out from... No, I don't know what the caution was actually from. Oh, the caution came out from... I'll tell you right now. Robert Land, where's Robert Land? I need to look at Robert Land. Robert Land, fell back. Caution, I've tier one on the inside. 88, clipped Robert Land. Nicked uh, the nose of Kyle Sharpentier. 
You see some guys staying out. Here comes the other leaders. Derek comes coming down. I want to interview Derek right here. I know he's going to be happy. Uh, I believe that caution is going to go to Kyle Sharpentier. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, he really couldn't avoid it, but it's just that uh, it should be going well, so I, yeah, I believe so too. Because uh, he clipped, uh, looks like Robert Land, caught him Robert 14. Land, yeah. uh, Mike Bruno caught himself. 84 yeah, I'm slipped out. Maybe this happened a year by Mike Bruno. I'm not oh, sure absolutely. That. that was amazing. However, the 84 almost got, uh, 99 almost got ran by 84, slipped out. Then the 12 got into the back of 84. And no collisions by any of those guys. Like, no, no, uh, no cautions. Let's pull in there. Hey, Derek, you got a copy? Derek, pretty much, you got a copy? Oh, if I move to your own place. <laughs> hey, Derek, you got a copy? Uh, yes, sir, I do. Man, your first lap led under green here for CFR, besides uh, staying out under caution and stuff like that. Talk us through that. What was the excitement like for you? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, it was completely different because I was actually mirror driving more than I was at the front windshield, which doesn't happen a whole lot for me, even at restrictor plate. So it felt different. Um, I just got to think, I got some great teammates, uh, Kyle and Kyle. I mean, this is a team effort that we're trying to get done and, you know, we're going to try to keep working together on that. Uh, we got Kyle up front, so we're going to do everything we can to try to keep him up front. And then, of course, me and Kyle, we're going to try to fight our way back up front. Yeah, man, that was interesting. That was very cool to see you up there. Now you got four fresh tires. Um, what do you think? Is the low line the way to go here right now, for sure? Oh, yeah, most definitely, if you can tell. I mean, uh, that was the only way I think Williams was going to be able to get around me there was trying to get down to that bottom lane. And just, I, I kind of shifted up to about the mid. I guess you could say mid to high part of that low lane on that uh, first lap, and I saw he get, he gained an extraordinary rate on me, so I decided to drop back down. And then when I kept it down to that bottom, it's like I was starting to pull away. Just it's gonna be a matter of fact is who can kind of save their tires. We really weren't saving the tires here on this first run, so the tires went away fairly quickly. So yeah, most definitely at least early, I would say probably in the next 50 or so lap, you may start seeing cars start uh, kind of moving up, maybe going to that mid to high. Good luck, man. We're watching you. You've done a All great right, job. Good job. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm trying to figure out who. I'm trying to figure who to issue the uh, the flag out to. I, I'm, I think Kyle Sharpentier would get it. If, if it's too close, don't. But you know, I would still warn Kyle if it's too close to call. You know, uh, I mean that's up to you completely. Oh. Yeah, it was close because it looked to me like he could have been avoiding direct with Mike Bruno, and that's how he got into him. I mean, I, you know, to me, it's one of those bang bang things that happened. But, yeah. You know, and the '88 could have scared um, Robert yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah. So personally, Robert could have let off. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's a tough call. How? <sighs> Uh, it is one of those tough situations where um, yeah. I think I just will leave it up to the race gods. <laughs> yes, they did. Derek Pemberton. Derek Pemberton is looking to shoot back up to the front. <laughs> race car is in. Tyler Cox didn't even wait. He just went. <laughs> Outside and backed up there just a little bit, but uh, it's not going to hurt him too much. But Joe Burchett falls in behind the 42 of Craig Learman. I will tell you, that was I will tell you, that was that was a good move by Tyler Cox by just going. We got a big mess up back here with Derek
uh, trying to make that spot away. He will pass John Kelly off to John Hammer now from the pass. Mitchell John Kelly. John is in a uh, high position. He's currently in the fifth right now. Keep it all with John Kelly. He's the one that I talked about earlier. It could make a big adjustment here during the race, and uh, you'll see him up front for a matter of time. Now, I'm not going to lie, Jonathan actually hates Charlotte, like, his worst track. Paul Charlotte could have thought about going to the 88. 99 Mike Bruno, a little bit of a bump there on the 03. Now, remember, these two had caught the issues last week after the end of the race. Um, Mike Bruno was just very displeased with Kyle, and uh, it looks like he's going to race two. And contact by Mike Bruno and Kyle Sharper too. That caution will come out by Mike Bruno. Uh oh. Yeah, that's not good. Not good. I don't know why Mike Bruno did not let up on that. You what? Take a look here and see what happened. Yeah, uh, Kyle Sharper too got a little loose. I think let off was in the middle. Mike Bruno slipped underneath him. Uh, that's what I saw. All right, let's take yeah, a good look at this again. Know, to be completely honest, the 03 may have came down a little bit, trying to, you know, just thought he was clear. The 03 may have came down a little bit. It looks like Mike Bruno had a nose underneath him, or started to get the nose underneath him. Uh, we'll take another look here for the far chase view, which is where we're watching it at now. That way we can see it a little bit better. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to see it right there. There we go. You'll see the 03 slide up just a little bit. 99 looks to the inside. Now, I don't know. It's so close to say. Well, in in my defense, and not not anything on Mike Bruno, but Mike Bruno, unless he wasn't able to gauge his distance to Kyle Schreiber's here, yeah. knowing, I I can personally tell that he does not have the the position to to make yeah. a move on him. Um. I would agree with that. I, I would have let off at some point instead of pushing it right into him. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that had so, enough room to pass, to be honest, either. Um, I don't know if that... I don't think it's a retaliation by any means from last week. Um, but I want to make sure I get that out the window now. I don't think it might Bruno did that on purpose, but, you know, it don't look good. But... It's also hard to say because Mike Bruno saw the inside. Kyle Schaffertier moved out to the middle lane instead of Kyle Schaffertier staying in the middle lane. Now I'm just coming up with another complete situation where we put Kyle Schaffertier in the in the, uh, the the crosshairs. Because I see what Mike Bruno was doing at the same time. I do. I, it looked to me like he had a chance to make the pass. I yeah. agree completely. Because... Now I want to point this out seriously. I want to make this known. Mike Bruno did not bring it on purpose. Kyle did not bring it on purpose. You know, yeah. I definitely think that that's just one of those things that happens. You know, Mike Bruno's not a dirty driver. Kyle's not a dirty driver. Yes, they had their running last week, but both of them was worn prior to this week. Um, yeah. And to be honest, when Mike and Kyle got into it last week, I want to mention Mike did the right thing. He waited until after the race. You know. So I think you know, I, I think it kind of you know if he wanted to turn Kyle into that last week. Yeah, absolutely. And he did. So I don't think it's all purpose by him. So I want to make sure that's out there. Um, Mike Bruno's already in the back, so we're not going to give him well for him because he is in the back. Um, if you want to give, you know, Kyle and Mike both an EOL, you're more than welcome to do that. I mean, just, you know, to make sure that we get it right because it's so close to call on who actually caused it. I'm not uh, sure if we should do that unless we're going to put something I new in the books. I, I think um, yeah, I mean, if I personally was if I personally slid up like that as Kyle Chavantier, I would have just stayed in the middle lane. Yeah. Um, because also the AI spotter is just not gonna tell you. It's not that great. If someone's about to slip in on you, it's gonna tell you if someone's already there. Yeah. Um, like and because Mike yeah. had to run. Yeah, he he absolutely did. Uh, Kyle Chavantier lost a little grip and slid up the track, actually right into the middle, into the middle groove. So. And they were racing um, around each other, you know, a few laps before this. So this was not the first time they've been together. Now they started near each other. They could have wrecked each other then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, trust me. And that's why I know it was not on purpose or intentional by any of them guys. So, you know, I, I think the decision is too close to call, personally. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna leave that because uh, honestly, I. Can... After the race. If there's anything that needs to be done, we'll give it. But you know, I, me personally, I'm just gonna let it go. I think. Yeah, that you could know, be. That could. Strictly. Yeah, that could be something that we could look at after and just say. Yeah. Uh, we could do like a vote on that or something with yeah. the race with race control, but um, because honestly, that's yeah. So that's why I don't think it's his fault. Kyle, Kyle thought about coming in next season, possibly as a race control outside the car, and just watching the race and being a race control. He knows the rules, so I mean, you know, both of them know the rules and they know what's good and what's not. None of them race dirty all year around nobody, so nobody's ever retaliated. I've seen Kyle get mad, but he's never retaliated. So, how about Jonathan Hammer up in sixth place? That's his highest place for the run. <laughs> That's probably his highest place ever at this track. <laughs> Pace car is in. Oh, Tyler Cox did it again. Pace car is in, and he goes. back a little bit. I think it's a good thing he's getting lower than cars, by the way. I think it's spaces him out up front. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, he has... A three second gap right now. Well, point three seconds. Well, that was a nice move by Hambrick. Started sixth, come back up fourth. It's the highest position he's had all at this track. Dover Chet now, running uh, up in 11. Oh, Craig Lerman slid up a little bit. Now, see right there with the Robert Lynn. Robert. Robert. And, uh, you know, the, the O of three and Mike Bruno. Uh, yeah, Robert Lynn getting, Robert Lynn getting pushed up by uh, David Clark. Got hammered all by himself, falling back. Just like being left out at Daytona. Right 32 now. contact between the 32 and uh, 28. Uh, really careful, 88. Thought about making it three wide. He's going to think better of that. Good on him. Jonathan's being smart here too. You can see him. He may be lifting a little bit and just let some of these guys go. He knows he don't have the position. He can't take it away when he's on that high side. So he may be trying to find the hole to get down. A little bit of contact between the 42 and 97. Maybe the... Whoa, contact. 42, 97. Saves it. Kyle Chavantier also clips him, but saved it. What a move. Jeez. Kyle Chavantier moving on the inside of, is that one, no, Adam Meyer? Nope, I am, Kyle Chavantier, oh, the 42, 42 of Craig Lerman. I'm not used to that car number or his paint. How about that? <laughs> uh, that, that four wide, that is, that is amazing, that's a picture right there waiting to happen. Derek, uh, Derek Pemberton looking to take the position from car number uh, 42, Lerman. He's not going to be able to make the move. Not just yet. He's looking back to the inside of the turn three. Knocked a little bit. Now, one hit the apron there a little bit. you got to be careful about doing that, especially on older tires. Now, these cars are starting to get a little wear, and we've been a green flag for a couple of laps here. So, now the cars are starting to come into play. We're starting to see groups, uh, you know, work around each other. Yeah, one full second. Eighty-four, 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 Cody. Looks like number twelve, Adam Meyer, is going to look on the outside of uh, Robert Land, going to take the position from him. Yeah, he's going to attempt. We're holding that inside line is always a faster line. Jonathan Jonathan Hamburg also went around. Damage on his front nose. Well, but I'm gonna say Derek Pemberton may have just had to save of the year. Derek Pemberton. Uh, yeah. 99. Mike exactly. Bruno also went into the wall. Yeah, he hit the wall whenever he seen Derek thought about spinning. Uh, I'm gonna go back here and see what happened to uh, Jonathan Hamburg. Yeah, let me know as well what happened to that. Jonathan now. Uh, Wow. Yeah, so what had happened was uh, Derek Pemberton 
nearly lost it. Mike Bruno up into the wall. Jonathan Hambrick, dodging all of it, loses the rear end and clips the inside wall. I think played the 88 saves it. I don't know if it's going to bring out a caution or not. We are seeing cars slide all over the place. The 12 saves it, gets it to the wall hard. He's going to be coming up pit road. A lot of slow cars out on track right now. Damage, they're having to get down and go to the pit lane and use that faster than 12 with a ton of damage. Could have brought out a caution. We put on it, no caution flies. We've got a battle for second now. Joshua Banks and David Phillips run at it. Cars are starting to space out. This is the race when we actually want to see, let's be honest. Wow. You're right. No caution did come off of that. I wonder if it's because uh, uh, number 12 ended up straight back onto the track and did not lose control after smashing into the wall. It did not stop, so that's what I'm guessing as well. So good job by Adam Meyer by not no stopping or anything. Yeah. Let's see, Derek Pemberton, where is he? Still sitting in 11th position. That same thing by far. I Honestly, between him and Kyle Sharpentier back at New Hampshire, one of them two's right now is going to have the save of the year. Yeah. I mean, that was an amazing save with how much speed he was carrying. He should have lost it, to be honest. I wonder, I wonder if Jonathan Hamburg is done. He's now down three laps. I got a pass for second. He did message me. He didn't say if he was done or not, though. Pass yeah. for second. Joshua Banks, Joshua looking underneath the 19, 19 with a little bit of momentum off of turn two. See if he can clear him. We're seeing the high line work a little bit now. Yeah, the 19 does clear him on the high side. Touch down in front of him a little bit, trying to not really chop his nose off his caution flag. Caution flag that time from whom? Uh, looks like the 07, I believe. Give us a moment here while we uh, take a look back at who caused that caution. Yeah, it looks like the 07 went around. How many cautions is that for her? Is that the second one? Um, Delaney, Delaney, Delaney. Yeah, that's the second one, so that's going to be a one lap black flag for her. Is it? Yeah, it will be. That's her second one of the night. Remember she flipped one time? Oh, yes. Hmm. I think, I think. Wait, did we give her EOL for that? I can't remember if that was actually... I don't, I don't think, I don't think that went to her. I don't think it did either, so that's just no. the EOL for her. Yeah. That was a good little run there. Yeah. Oh. We are... We are... Uh, 40, 80. We are third through the race. A little beyond a third. Everybody coming down pit road. A couple of guys staying out. Everybody was coming down the pit road. <laughs> 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 of course. <laughs> Tyler but it was coming down the pit road. And he's going to be down and away. There we go. Kind of an eight, uh, 18. Look at that. And he, he pushed it right out of the pits. Burned up those tires. John Kelly looking for that free lap. <laughs> We'll step away be right back. That's a commercial bubbling guy. You can watch this broadcast on Hal Street as well. It's in the city of uh, Dev. I, um, I am actually going between uh, the overlay and in game overlay because I'm also race control, so. There you go, yeah. Alright, we'll be right back. <coughs> Man. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> be better come up here, road. That wouldn't be good. No. <laughs> would not be good at all. Uh, is that 07 also behind him, Delaney? Yeah, I think. Yeah, she is. Taylor Cox said he got a pole. <laughs> yeah. You know one thing I don't like about this. Uh, one thing I don't like about the overlay. What's that? So that I got, okay, so I got the timing screen. Yeah. I don't know how many laps that they've actually led. They don't show it on the overlay. I wish it was on there. Well, that stinks. Yeah, it needs to be on there. I'm not a big Now, if I push a button, I can see it. Well, I do have um, Tyler Cox um, leading 26 laps. Joshua Banks with six. Kyle Chavante with five. Derek Pemberton with four. And Mike Bruno with three. 
with uh, Tyler Cox currently dominating the race. How many laps does Tyler have? 26 lead. Uh, he may want to win. Yeah. Well, if, if no one's catching on to the fact that he just keeps <laughs> flowing at the moment, the um, right. moment the freaking pace car dips. <laughs> no, every time he does that, he's out like a full second. <laughs> no one's catching him. He's so aggressive after the pit, the, the pace car dumps in. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, that pace car to his advantage. He does it a lot. I've noticed it. Yeah, yeah. Now, I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with it. I mean, that's what it's there for. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't decided where he's going to go. It looks like he's going to stay on the inside now. Um, Dave Phillips going to line up next to him now as we double it up. About to come back all the way from three. Oh, yeah, yo. Oh, yeah, yo. No oh, commercials on my end. <laughs> just, no just pure. Yeah, just pure entertainment. <laughs> come and get you some. Uncensored. It's 100%. <laughs> That's what we need. We need to make sure we who is that coming in hot and behind? Can't see that number. We're back here at Charlotte. Oh, Park. Mike Bruno. Yes, we are. Let's see if uh, Tyler Cox does the same thing again or if he's just going to wait. Yeah, he's going. Yeah, yeah, he, he just booked it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's not illegal. He can do that, so it's it's his discretion. All right, all right. I mean it's unfortunate he's down nine laps at this point, but finished better than nothing, right? What well, could help him is uh, he could help his teammates, you know, pop a little lap, maybe help them learn something as well while mm. they're racing, um, work on field strategy and all that stuff. Teammates and nobody racing, anything's possible with that. Yeah. Kyle Chapentier, 84. Wow, okay. So, about that save there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We're just taking a wall to you today. Kyle Chapentier actually took a position from him. Kyle Chapentier came out for this. I don't know why it was coming out. No, Kyle Chapentier knocked him. No. Kyle Chapentier on the inside of Mike. Uh, nope, sorry. Joe Burchette. Okay, I just want to point this out. Cody Black was just got robbed. Caution should have came out to be completely honest. He stopped the dragon back up because it's fun. Cut off turn two. And he sat there for like a second. No caution came out. He backed all the way up to the apron real fast to try to get off the track. And then going. A caution should have came out and didn't. So. I, I, I can. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, I could have thrown <laughs> That's what I racing just wanted to <laughs> Yeah. We'll have another one. The Kyle Chapatier has actually jumped two points. Um, he actually took a position from the 84 before uh, 84 lost it, and then he took a position from Joe Prechette, placing him in fourth now. Lowest position Kyle has been is 17th, now up to the fourth position, battling for third now on that 19th. Kyle Chapatier with a huge run on uh, David Phillips. Going to be looking to take the position from him soon if he keeps getting runs like that. Up uh, three spots from where he's going. Yeah, I just want to say Cody really got I racing did a good job. Yeah, he got screwed. Yeah. To be completely fair, yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. 21 in the wall. That is David Clark. Simple man game calls. Slipped yeah. up, almost came down on, uh, what was that, 84? That is the Kurt Lerman. Uh, yeah. He almost, almost came down on him. But good catch here. Good catch. Yeah, 88. Now we'll see. Now if Caution don't come out, and Caution better not come out, he's on the apron. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, like I said, it's that turn two. Uh, turn two, uh, turn three is going to be really, really, you know. A lot of regs when caution should come out, but it's not. Um, I do want to mention go check out something called.com um, from 
David Clark, very good group of guys. I'm a big fan. Uh, not only their game calls that they make for deer hunting and stuff like that. Just go check them out. That's you know they don't sponsor us or nothing like that. It's just honestly, I do believe in what they're making. So they're all handmade. And yeah. I small business, 100 percent. So go check them out. Same thing with SwampBest.com. They're another you know uh, small company that. You know, and, and Joe got us hooked up with. By the way, we've seen a lot of cars off pace. A lot of cars have trouble right now. But I'm going to tell you right now, the last few laps, that interval has closed for Tyler Cox. Joshua Banks starting to run it down. Yeah, um, Joshua Banks is fluctuating between 0.4 and 0.2 seconds in that gap. Really trying to. Kyle Schrovenshire, if Kyle Schrovenshire is the one really, really Tyler's going to have to look out for, though. Because yeah, he's, he's really, really trucking up the track there. Yeah, there he's, he was the fastest last time out on track. And he is certainly closed a gap. Somebody else people better watch out for. And he's coming. Derek Hamilton's up to sixth right now. Yeah, he's got... He's a big gap, though. I hope, I hope he gets some help. Yeah, now... Draft will play a, a effect here. Um, it didn't play an effect too much last week. Wait, where was it last week? Uh, um, oh. uh, my, Mexico? Pretty close. <laughs> uh, and it didn't play an effect like it will, you know, Look at that. last week or not. We got so I was going to say, Car Shopping Tier up on Joshua Banks, looking on the inside. And he's going to take it, but he's not going to take it before, uh, Turn two, uh, turn three, sorry. Yeah, Joshua Banks still holding on to that lead. And Kyle Schramatier fell back, but let's see if he's going to do it now. Get on the inside. You still know, holding it. I thought, we've had seen a couple of wrecks there, but a place where I thought we would see our first wrecks tonight would be the trial oval. You know, the, the little... Yeah. Whatever you want to call that, I forgot what the name of it's actually called, but that is by far the worst place ever. Joshua Banks making that high line work really well for him. He's going in slower. Kyle Shepardier looking on the inside, but then Joshua Banks has a speed exiting turn, turns uh, two and four. And also, I want to mention we got a black car about to uh, be caught up with Tyler Cox. Jonathan Hamper uh, moves to the high side and let Tyler go. Good on Jonathan Hamburg. Last time they were near each other, we know what happened. <laughs> yeah. so, that was yeah. like two years ago, but hey. Yeah. No, it was this year. That's what I'm about. <laughs> Jonathan Hambrick. Oh, Joshua Banks slowed down. Kosh Rapetier actually clipped him a little bit. 19 got into the back of him. Both of them out. Kosh Rapetier taking the position now going up to second place. Oh, my God. Now, Derek had to check up. Derek's going to split both of them. <laughs> Oh my God. Jeez! Derek, what a move! <laughs> that was insane. Let's take a look at what happened there. David Clark also off pace. He gets loose out of turn number two. Uh, falls back to ten. Take a look at uh, Derek Pemberton. Right now. <laughs> yeah. You know. I'm gonna take a look at that move with Derek Pemberton here. I want to mention one of the most patient drivers. Uh, out on track while Hal looks at that. I gotta give a shout out to Joe Uh Started in, he started actually in ninth place, not nice. great right now. Um, up six spots from where he started up to third right now. He's been back as far as 16th and that swap does Toyota. So gotta give him credit on that. And also, on the front of his car, you can see the Living Aquarium banner as well. But yeah, gotta give Joe credit for that. He's been, I, I just had to, Joe will be there for the season, and he will be there, as long as nothing happens to him. Yeah. Uh, another driver, Robert Lance, is starting to move up a little bit. Um, now, he started up at third. He is back and forth, so he's actually lost one spot. But we got we got all the guys you need to really look out for right up in the yeah, front now. I, and me personally, and I'm not taking that Mike Bruno, because I think Mike Bruno will be in the final four. Uh, Tom Homestead. But the top four guys right now that's up front could also be a yeah, absolutely. I mean, I I think tonight the race could go to uh, Tyler Cox, Kyle Shrapentier, or really Derek Pemberton, the way he's been driving today. So, I mean, it, it's yeah, a toss-up. To be honest, his last time by Derek Pemberton was faster than Tyler Cox. Now, Tyler actually was 
slow. Now this time, he's yeah. Going to what Derek and stuff does. Derek's a little bit slower. He had a lap car he worked around last time, I said his lap was coming just a little bit slower. Um, however, Kyle Sharpentier is really, really starting to close in just slightly here. Yellow now we are getting yellow. a long run. Uh, yellow flag is out. I spoke too soon. Yeah, let's let's uh, yeah, try to figure. Uh, Cody Blackmore's in pits. I think that may be your caution. Cody Blackmore? Actually, you know what? It's not him. He actually blew up. Uh, Cody Blackmore did. Possibly David Clark? Uh, yeah, David Clark through the infield. David Clark? Yep. Oh, yeah. He's. Oh, yeah. Lost it to the tri -oval and flips. Ooh, that's, that's going to be a pretty pitcher. You spoke too soon with the damn tri -oval. <laughs> I did, and I thought we were going to get green flag, and I thought we was getting ready to have green flag pit stops. Um, let's take a look here from the cockpit of uh, of David Clark. Oh yeah, lost it coming out of turn four. Couldn't regain control. Now I want to get an interview with Joe Burchett, Um, if we can, I know he's not feeling the greatest. Um, so we're gonna try to get an interview with him right after this pit stop, um, and we'll see what if we Holy can or not. Holy crap! That is steering wheel is messed up on that pace car. How <laughs> 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 notices the most random things? <laughs> well, this cockpit is so messed up. Uh, who would have thought to actually get in the cockpit of the pace car? Anyways. Watching the race off pit road, Tyler Cox has a 13 second stop. He's down in the way. Joe Burchett coming off second. Wow. Joe picks up two spots. Under yellow. Joe pit stops. Under yellow. John Kelly staying out again. I don't know what for this time. <laughs> he already John grabbed that points for the laps. Mr. Johnson and Hamper got turned as well uh, in the infield. Uh, before that caution came out. I want to bring in Joe Burchett real fast. Hey Joe, you got a copy? Uh, yeah. And I know you're not feeling the greatest right now, uh, a little under the weather, but doing good. Uh, started back in ninth place, which is kind of far back for you to be honest, um, especially here at Charlotte, but for some reason we always notice, I've noticed you quite, you know, you're pretty good here at Charlotte, I've always noticed you up front. You're up to second now, depending on yeah, now up to second. Um, you think you got something here for the win? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I just kind of been trying to conserve my car here with most of the runs. Um, trying to get it in the longer run. Uh, I feel like my car's a little bit better on the longer run and not as good on the short run. So I can maybe see if I can try to do something a little bit different to pick up some short run speed. But uh, otherwise, if we can get a long green going here, I'm hoping to try to be able to take the fight to Tyler. I was sitting there looking at it. We noticed, um, I forgot who it was. I think it was a 32, maybe. Uh, was running a little bit higher line in some of these corners. Do you think it's possible that we can see a higher line coming to play a little bit here? Uh, I'll tell you that Joshua Banks has already been making it really work. Yeah, he's been he's been passing a couple cars. We've watched quite a bit passing a couple cars on that hot line. So, car yeah. Um, yeah, Charpentier had issues getting around him. Good luck, buddy. Uh, we're watching you in that Swamp Dust Toyota. Uh, keep it up front. Yeah, man. Good luck. You know what I about just did, Hal? What's up? I just about moved myself out of the room. <laughs> You're all over the place tonight, Adam. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> oh, man. That's that. That's that pro broadcasting you get, guys. Um, <laughs> I want to mention, now we start a busy week. Um, I got a really busy week this week, but... Tuesday we broadcast um, for the Simple Man Oval Simple Man game calls at Bristol. That's gonna be a fun race. And then uh, Tuesday or Wednesday we broadcast a new league uh, from David Clark, who is in this race, not on the track right now, but we broadcast a dirt race for him. Um, that race won't take very long, but it's gonna be fun to broadcast some dirt racing. Um, Thursday we broadcast. I think no, we we're all Thursday. 
Friday we broadcast the Go Fast uh, K&N series from Bristol, and then Saturday we broadcast the Go Fast Xfinity Elite Series. I got a busy day. Friday I'm going to the race, and then Sunday I'm going to the race, and, I'm, I'm, and then we brought back here again Sunday night. So, <laughs> man, you got just too much on your plate. That's a busy night, I'm telling you. Yeah. All right, guys. This car's in. Palacox did it again, but did not, did not trick anybody this time. <laughs> Jumping shot's like, not this time, buddy. <laughs> it was just a matter of, it was just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. Go somebody that keeps up with that stuff. Now, we got a battle back here from third place. Robert Lane takes that spot away from Kyle Sharpentier. Now, a battle heating up back here for fifth. Derek Pemberton looking to the outside of the third two. Joshua Bank. Now falls back in behind. Why not say it like that? Now falls back in behind. Uh, Joshua. Also, I want to mention Adam Myers starting to make a move here. And not only that, last year's champion, there's a reason why he's last year's champion makes a move. And I want to give a shout out to Curtis Martin having a good run. Oh, that 06 right now, currently sitting in ninth place. Very impressive. Now he's under attack, of course, but. Yeah. 06 Curtis Martin. Yeah. Losing. Losing position to David Phillips. Yeah, David Phillips has actually really shown him shown some light tonight. Is he one of the new drivers? No. I think I asked this question already. That's the same. Time. <laughs> 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 uh, back up here. But you got a point. We don't have nothing to see him. By the way, we got we may have a pass here for lead. Yeah, Joe Bouchet looking on the outside. Nothing against David, but usually you don't see him up front like we have tonight. That or he gets caught up in. Yeah. He's done a great job. Oh, Joe hit the grass right there a little bit. These four drivers tonight. Tyler Cox is going to have a hard time losing these four guys. I mean, three guys. This is pretty good right here. Let's Derek Pemberton get up there as well. 32 helping him out. Joshua Banks. Looking to the outside now. Robert Lane's not going to make it easy for him. Yeah, Robert Lane's super tough to pass. You know that as well as I do. Yeah. Oh, Kyle Chubbett looking on the outside. My, uh, Joe Burchette is going to slow up. Robert Ban uh, Robert Land. Kyle Chubbett is going to take possibly take second away too. Little contact. Lose control into the old three. Ah, back. Oh, that's four cars into it. Five cars. Oh. Wow. Uh, Ken also gotten involved. Yeah, that Another one, 84 also gotten involved. Or, yeah, 84. That was the big wreck of tonight. Big one. Blows up. He's trying to make it back pit lane. He's still got his fast repair, but... Ouch. Uh, trying to get a replay of this. Another replay. A replay. And I thought Joe had it saved. Yeah, I thought they had that. That's what her Cody was. She was just on pit road. And uh, so it looks like the cause of the caution is 07 of Robert Land. I mean, uh, Joe Burchett, 97. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Yeah, he came down. That's surprising. Joe usually won't come down. I know his car probably got loose 100%. Yeah, you know what actually, what probably happened is he might have sneezed. That's a possibility. <laughs> you know. He does have his fast repair. Most of these guys that got involved with it does have a fast repair. That's what the bad news is. But that was a big wreck, man. Yeah, there were a lot of cars caught up in that. And I'm not quite sure how many of those guys actually still had their fast repair or how many of them accidentally used it. Uh, for the most part, and, um... You know, Derek Pemberton's still on pit road right now. I'm trying to see. I don't think he has a fast repair. He's Derek, on pit road here for a while. Derek Pemberton? Yeah. yeah. He's falling back. He's been on pit road for over 30 seconds now. Well, I don't want to say this, but it looks like Tyler Cox has secured the win. Um, well. not through beating everybody. <laughs> uh... <laughs> See who's in front of him right now, don't you? Uh, no, not Mike yet. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Mike and David Phillips. Oh man. So 
you know, we'll see. Yeah, well, maybe. Road. Yeah. Awesome. Stop here. John Kelly staying out. He's always looking for those extra points, you know, getting those lead laps. So. <laughs> Let's see how many uh, John Kelly has led two laps Stop at this point. I don't. I hope the rest of these guys rank John Kelly wins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that would. Honestly, that would be awesome. <laughs> John Kelly wins a race by default. <laughs> I think John Kelly would possibly may have tears in his eyes if he won. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be so happy. I think everybody would be happy for him. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's one of the most liked drivers in the entire league. I can't think of another more liked driver, honestly. Maybe Joe. Well, Joe's probably not too liked right now, but <laughs> you know, honestly, <laughs> Don Kelly's probably the most liked driver in the league. Yeah, I would agree with that. Absolutely. Yeah, Actually, you know what? It looks like he did have a fast year there. Who? Derek Pemberton? Why didn't he take it before? Uh, Why didn't he take it before? Maybe he had it unchecked? I don't know. Yeah, it, either that or he probably just had the idea. Because we saw how well... Yeah, I was going to say, uh, we saw how well he was driving already. So maybe he just thought the damage was superficial and just didn't and chose not to use it. That, <coughs> he didn't have a lot of optionals, but he went out there and did a lap and realized it was really slow. Yeah, yeah. So that's a possibility. Well, he's got a brand new car now. Absolutely. He went back to the garage. And I'm, I'm saying this with all honesty. Derek has a chance to win this race. Yeah, as long as he doesn't get caught up again, but... Tyler's back to ninth right now. Oh, boy. So, honestly, any of these guys can win this race. No jump for Tyler Cox this time around. Come on, John Kelly. Yeah. He's choosing a high line, by the way. He's doing that on purpose. I think he takes it super slow. There's a possibility. Yeah, he's but, he's probably going to slide all the way out and uh, yeah. just let everyone slide in on. I hope I hope they wreck. And I hope John <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> man. That's not right for me to say about all these, but I really hope they do. I want to see John Kelly win this race. Sorry, guys. But, I mean, that's not, you know, that's not professional whatsoever. But, you know. <laughs> Well, I personally would like to see John Kelly win a race. Yeah. As you know, I've, as you know, he's been my my pick for the last like two seasons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I agree. He's been picking quite a bit. Um, uh, but. Pace car is about to go in now. John Kelly can go any time once the pace car drops. He is the car, and we'll see. And he's, he's gonna go. Mike yeah. Bruno though with the jump. No. No, Mike Bruno let up a little bit. Yeah, 12 into the bottom. Clip the one. And he's going to regain control, but Derek Pemberton almost loses it, and he's going to lose it. Joe Pichette clipped, uh, clipped him. No caution. Let's throw a caution out if you can. You want me to? Yes? You know no, they're good, they're good. All right. So that's well, bad. I am. I'm assuming both Joe Pichette and Derek Pemberton are now out of the race at this point. Yeah, I would probably so, hard but. into the wall, and then Joe Pichette hard into the him. Field, and Derek tried to hold it down there. You see his tires. His tires was actually turning. Uh, John so Kelly sitting in third now. <laughs> John Kelly looking at. <laughs> We're gonna have a battle for the lead, though. Mike Bruno and. Joshua or David Bill is really going to go out. Tyler Cox up to fifth now. Uh, Derek, by the way, turned up pit lane along with Joe Pachette. Both of them out of basket pairs. They're not most likely done. I'm going to be honest, and this ain't going to be popular with a lot of people. This has honestly been a decent race. Yeah, it has been. It and really has. This, this track's been tough. You've seen a lot of people get pushed out of the corner, but it's been an exciting race for the day. So I don't, know, I don't know what happened, but my AFK. Overlay was up. I really hope most of the race didn't have that up because I'm going to be really pissed. You probably had it in the commercial. Oh my god. Oh my god. The entire race has been AFK. That's alright. Uh, basically, all you get is the radio. <laughs> god damn. At least get the radio. That sucks. By the way, but he is going to be two laps down. He's got a lot of damage sticks, but he was going to be two laps down in ninth place. 
Mike Bruno still sitting in first. David Phillips, five seconds, uh, okay. five tenths of a second. John Kelly's still holding on the third. That is. And he's got a whopping 3.2 seconds between him and Tyler Cox. Come on, John Kelly. Hold on the third, man. Come on, man. You can hold on. You got you got a whopping three seconds between you and Tyler Cox. You beat him, man. Uh, <laughs> John Kelly's trying to pick second. Come on, John. Push it, man. Unfortunately, Robert Land is down a lap and uh, just letting everyone go, not, not causing trouble. So people out there wondering wondering, John Kelly is 60 years old, and uh, his career best high right now would be third. That would be his best finish. I don't think he's going to hold Today. Honest, No, no. But it's taking this long. He's only, he's, uh, he's going to go around. He's going to lose it. Oh, keep it off the wall. Oh. oh. I don't think a caution will come out for this. No, not for that one. Back it up a little bit and turn. Ah oh, man. Come on. The thing is, if he could go real fast, he's still only gonna be he's not gonna lose a lap. He'll still be sixth. Yeah, he's yeah. Like back to the lap down that big wreck that we had. Yeah, so absolutely. He's still got a chance for a good finish. Like I would stay out. Personally. I would not hit. Now honestly I think he lost it because of that. Because he didn't hit. Yeah, it's the later on these the later runs with these tires are definitely a lot looser, and you have to be willing to just uh, let off a little bit uh, going through the corners. Yeah, you know you gotta sacrifice a lot of stuff. John um, Kelly now down a lap. Robert Landon passed him up, so he's actually gonna fall to seventh now. But still, I mean, yeah, Cody Blackmore still looking down two laps, and the caution could actually bring up Robert Land. But if Robert Lamon isn't up up to uh, up to full speed and and John Kelly can get back up, if not the caution comes out, that would give him a waiver on. Mike Bruno does not want a caution. I just want to point that out. He does not need a caution. No, not uh, at this point. I can't tell you this. Um, oh, by the way, I just want to message that Joe Bichette is out of the race. Joe Bichette, all right. What about Derek Pemberton? Derek Pemberton is not out of the race. He's actually out on track right now. Uh, oh, yeah. I see that. He's uh, down three laps. Yeah. So, he's going to have to have a little bit of luck. Um, because his last lap, he's really slow on speed. But he's looking at a top 10 finish. I mean, that's good for him. I mean, he had a chance to really possibly win his race, to be honest. Yeah, it, it's a shame that he, he lost a little bit of control there. And Drobachek got, uh, caught, got caught up on him. You know, I think that's just racing. I mean, Joe, you know, Joe didn't mean to turn into him, and then Derek didn't mean to come back up on the track and somehow managed to get Joe, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, that was just racing. We're watching 18 right now. He is closing the gap a little bit. Um, the last few laps, he's been three times faster than our leader and way faster than David Phillips. And he's actually closing on David right now. Is the uh, car sharp team no longer out on track? No, he's back in 13. Oh wait, he, no, he's on pit road. Yeah. Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. Mike Bruno looking to have a big win here, possibly though. And I want to mention real fast: these guys cannot make it on field. It's a stretch. It's a big stretch, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, when do we go back green again? Uh, lap 29, 28. Yeah. And when, well, I didn't feel right here. They didn't practice myself to help my team out. It was 24 to 25 laps is what you can make it before you start to sputter. Ho, 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 ho. So there is a chance we could see somebody stick. I'm going to be honest, who's having a good run now is Curtis Martin, up to fifth place. Yeah. That's going to be his highest finish uh, of the season if he's able to do it. And John Kelly, by the way, I wonder if you know what team Hold on. We're really off the pace. Okay, he just slowed down and let Tyler go by. So John Kelly now two laps down. After having a good run, Tyler Cox, or Mike Bruno coming to the pits. This is scheduled. Yeah, Mike Bruno looking to get that uh, last yeah. run fuel. Everybody has to come to pit road now. I mean, got. I mean, unless you're somebody like Curtis, you may try to stay out and push it. But honestly, I think it's going to force everybody to pit road. We can see Cody Blackmore coming off pit road as well. We'll see if Tyler Cox pits here. He probably will. Yeah, he's coming as well. Yeah. I'm not surprised by seeing that. 
uh, Craig Learman. See what he does. He may take a chance to stay out. He has nothing to lose. None of these guys have nothing to lose. I mean, honestly. Well, uh, I mean, if, uh, if, I don't know. I don't know if you would have enough no matter what happens personally. You know what I would do? I would I would see if um if turning off the motor around each turn <laughs> and turning it back on <laughs> would save fuel. Well, that's a shame. But we mentioned this in practice, and I think, yeah, that's going to be a penalty for him, for sure. Uh, that will, high rates of penalty will give him that as entering. Unsafe in entry. Yeah, unsafe entry. Yeah. Yeah. Craig Lerman going around Johnson Hambert. Freaking raining outside? Yeah, they're calling for a lot of rain here tomorrow and next day. Yeah, it's raining outside. The race is coming to Bristol, so they're calling for rain all week, I promise. Uh, I don't have a sh if you need rain in your area, just send NASCAR. By the way, we've got a big mess right here with Jonathan Haber, who I want to add, by the way, is number 10. <laughs> yeah. And John can actually make up a couple spots. Uh, you can actually... Uh, oh! Tyler Croc slips onto the apron, comes back onto the track, so the racing surface, hits Ty uh, Jonathan Hambrick, back up into the wall, 180s, and hits John Kelly as well. What were you doing, Tyler? That is not good. That's not good at all, Tyler. Mm. Well, let's wow. go back and take a look at this here. Because that was really crazy. Uh, let's see, Mike Bruno. Alright, so I did, alright, so, it's hard to hear, it's hard to see. John Kelly, uh, John Kelly was in the middle lane. Well, second groove here. Mike Bruno slipped in under him in the first groove. Jonathan Hambrick went underneath John Kelly. Tyler Cox had a huge run, but nowhere to go. Went onto the apron, slipped back up onto the apron. Yeah, I think the apron shot him back up. And uh, nowhere to go with the apron. His yeah, lunch. Apron what shot him back up? I'm pretty sure. See, the problem with the apron is when you're entering the track at such a speed, you want to be on the incline because the inline, the incline, is what's helping you uh, take these turns at these speeds. Uh, where. Well, Yep. Craig Learman has never won for CFR. I just want to mention that. Or David Phillips. So we may have a first time winner tonight. Nice. That's uh that. yeah, That's awesome. That. But anyways, uh the apron here very flat. Tyler Cox is not in a very good position entering the uh switching back to the incline um after being on the apron is which destabilized his vehicle. Wow. You uh you rewatched that? No, I was looking at David Phillips wins the race off pit road against Craig Learman. Uh, uh, Cox disconnected, so no caution. Yeah, uh, I, I, he, uh, oh. I, I think he was just fast repair earlier in that wreck took him out. Yeah. Hmm. And that's also going to probably take up take out uh, Jonathan Hambrick as well. He's still on pit road getting damaged. If he can come out and run a couple laps, he'll be able to pick up a few yeah. spots. Probably no, yeah. It's, it has been a long time since uh, Jonathan Hambrick's actually been in one of our races, so... I'm just surprised, you know. You know, honestly. maybe. And for people wondering... Hold on. Yeah. Oh, I was reading something. Huh. Um, I want to mention real fast is that... The reason why, guys, that we got so many people a lap down is because we had a huge wreck. And it took out a lot of, let's be honest, took out a lot of great drivers that had a chance to really win it. Um, Derek was involved. Um, and a bunch of other people was involved as well. Yeah, a lot of our uh, top-notch drivers were involved. And just nowhere to go. Um, really cluttered up the track. Hey, and I'm, 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 uh, I'm not for a minute. They can't hear me, so don't answer me. Um... Jonathan calls that wreck. He just admitted it to me. Jonathan did? Yeah. Didn't seem like it, but all right. Well, John Kelly couldn't stay on the outer groove, outside groove. 
And it pushed uh, Jonathan Hamburg down a little bit. And I'll be right back real quick. Pace lights are off, and David Phillips, Craig Lehrman, Mike Bruno out front. As we get ready to go back green here. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, we're going to have possibility have a new winner here tonight. All right, here we go. Pace car about to go in. Yeah. We're gonna go green. Oh, pace lights back on the pace car. We're gonna stay out one more lap. Everybody get caught up. Make sure I'm live here. Oh. There I am live. Okay, good. I'm live. Make sure I don't have my stupid, I'll be right back! <laughs> you dumbass. What, well, so what happens here? Uh, how possibility do you think? Who gets to win? The 42, 19? Uh, <sighs> well, we've... Wait, like, where's, where's my, Mike Bruno? Did he just connect just now? Oh, that is a no, good question. He's at, the back. That's right. no, he's at the back of the longest line. Longest line because they got to wave around. Him and Curtis Martin both. Oh, jeez. So, we don't have a lot yeah. of cars left. Yeah, we only have four <laughs> cars left on the lead lap. Yeah. Um, I mean, Mike Bruno, Curtis Martin, Craig Lerman, and David Phillips. David Phillips? I don't know. I yeah. think David Phillips at this point is going to be the one to look out for. Yeah, he's been super fast. Although, the Mike Bruno had the fastest lap of the race so far. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. No. No, I'm, I lied. Sorry. He, he has the fastest lap right now currently on the lead lap. <laughs> Best lap out of this race? You ain't gonna believe it. John Kelly? <laughs> yeah. I can believe it. Pace car is in. And we're off. Yeah. Nice jump by by him. So it's just up to them two now. Ten laps remaining in the race. David Phillips in the in the lead. Mike Bruno really working, trying to Almost three right wide, cars. only back. Kyle Chabertier holding people up back there. Yeah, he's got a lot of damage. I think he's really hurting. Mike Bruno splitting both of them. He gets around him. How about Curtis Martin? Looking at his career best finish. Ten laps to go for David Phillips. Craig Lear, or nine laps to go, sorry. Uh, Craig Lear trying to run him down. Mike Bruno trying to get up there. Mike Bruno looking to... He's got the speed, but is he going to get it? Does he have enough time in this track? He is running out of time. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of ground to make up. As long as Curtis, I think... A lot of ground. With fresh tires, it's going to be tough. I think with older tires, it would be different. Curtis can't make a mistake. If Curtis makes a mistake, Mike will be there all over. Oh, yeah. If a, if a caution comes out, Mike is going to be there. They don't need a caution. Uh, they can just stay green as long as they can. For the cars we got, we should not have a caution, to be honest. Yeah, and Dave Phillips has got a seven-second lead on. Uh, I'm sorry, seven uh, seven tenths of a second lead on Craig Lerman. Okay, but so then, I uh, something. Mike Bruno last time by was almost a second faster than Curtis. Curtis' time is really slowing down. Curtis might need to push the guys pedal a little bit harder here because he might want to focus on running like qualifying laps. Yeah, he's only got a point four second, uh, point yeah. four tenths of a second. The 84 is really caught him, and that's Cody Blackmore, who's sixth place right now. But he's got Dan. He actually blown up earlier in the race. So, I mean, I mean, here we go. He moves up out of the way. Mike Bruno with a big run looking underneath the 06. Actually makes a little bit of contact. Contact. Oh. That's going to bring uh, the caution. 
No, we're not bringing our caution. No, maybe. Not uh, not now. Oh, yep, there. and that will end the race. Or are we? No, we're gonna have a lap shootout. Yeah, we're gonna have one lap shootout. Uh, Mike Bruno called that race. I just did well. So the question is, this is a big question here, Mr. Powell. Do you pit if you're Curtis Martin or Craig Learman? I think you do whatever the opposite of the leader does. Yeah, absolutely. If the leader stays out, you stay out. Honestly, <laughs> no. If no, the leader I, stays out, you go in. You get tires. Honestly, if the leader pits, I think I'd pit anyway because he's gonna be right behind you with fresh tires. Yeah, yeah. And that, those fresh tires will really get you through the. We'll see. Really, honestly, may I think I'd pull a Tyler move and just gun it as soon as the pace car's in. Yeah. Because it seems to be working against everyone else except for Joe Burchett. Who is no longer uh, a threat. Yeah, I agree. This is going to be big. It really depends on what the 19 does here. The 42 is looking to pit. Now, he may go in. I think I would go in if I'm him. No, he stays out. Will Curtis Martin pit? Yes, Curtis Martin coming down pit road. Now, that's a big right there. That's a big one. Uh. <sighs> This is a big uh, stop here for Curtis Martin. He's got a chance to really come out of this way ahead with some fresh tires. Now, I don't know what it's going to do with only, you know, two laps I think we'll have. So, yeah. we have two laps. I, this is a quick yellow because there ain't a lot of cars, so that's a good thing. Did we, have a, we did have a waiver round, by the way. Robert Land back on the lead lap. <laughs> Robert Land. Yeah. Five cars on the shootout. Are they going to be... Are these guys going to be side by side? No, that's the question. Hmm. So we got uh, David Phillips. Uh, I want to mention, by the way, the wreck was actually called by the 06 on that. He actually claimed it. The wreck was claimed by the 06? Yeah. Uh, Curtis? Curtis Martin, yeah. Okay. Now, to be honest, it ain't going to hurt you, man. I mean, there's only, you know, yeah. just a few laps, but... I like Curtis too. Yeah, I'm a fan of Curtis. He's an honest guy. Yeah, most people in here don't like the responsibility. <laughs> so we got, uh, is that the 84 and Mike Bruno coming in? Uh, Mike Bruno is not the 84, that is Cody Blackmore in the 84. Yeah, so Cody Blackmore and, and Mike Bruno, Mike Bruno did are in the yeah, pits right now. I think that's a smart move by them, honestly. We're going to have uh, one lap to go, actually, because the pace lots are still on. So we're going to have just one lap shootout. Yeah. I could throw one caution lap. <laughs> That'd be so mean, wouldn't it? <laughs> it was so... I'd be like, my brew hasn't caught up to you guys yet. <laughs> David wouldn't mind that. Oh. Yeah, he would definitely mind it. He'd be pissed. He'd be like, really, dude? <laughs> uh, Dave Phillips actually was some internet connection issues right then and there. Now, if he just connects, he's up sorry. <laughs> yeah. Say about that one. He disconnects as I throw the caution. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> uh. Pace going to be off this time, guys. We're going to have a one-lap shootout here at Charlotte for the Papa John's 110. Next week, we'll be live back here for Talladega Super Speedway Racing. That's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know, he was in the race last year at Talladega. It was actually a good race last year at Talladega. Daytona wasn't great, but Talladega was not bad. Yeah, and I personally still don't understand how you could wreck on a track like that. Yeah, I agree completely. I, I just don't. I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> Anyways. This is going to be fun. Top four guys starting beside each other. Mike, or, uh, Robert Lance will start fifth at the end of the longest line because he was the lucky dog. So Yeah. Here we go. Two guys behind him. Mike Bruno and Curtis Martin have fresh tires. This is going to be fun. I don't think the wreck's over. I think we're going to have one more. No, one more. It's going to be all over turn two. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be all over. <laughs> Fight the gold field out. <laughs> Nobody will 
As we sit in uh, the cockpit of Curtis Martin to see who gets the jump there on uh, um, as the pace car goes. Good. But if I were David Phillips, I would have, I would do exactly what Tyler Cox, <laughs> what Tyler Cox has been doing. <laughs> like, no one else has been doing. But all right, pace car is in. Set up, and we're going. Mike Bruno holding it on the outside by the way. We've got a wreck happening behind these guys. Don't know who that was, but they are wrecking behind them. And it looks like they're going to be okay. Mike Bruno looking on the outside of, of Curtis Martin. Is he going to take it from him? Fight to the third. David Phillips will win. Oh my god! Mike Bruno will take third! <laughs> Jeez! What a finish! Winner, David Phillips gets his first win ever in the CFR Championship. And Greg Lifford finishes second. I think that's his highest finish ever in the CFR Championship. Curtis Martin finishes fourth. That is his highest to ever finish in the champion, er, CFR Championship. Cody Blackmore making his debut finishes in sixth place. John Kelly managed to finish eighth. I believe that's, I think I that's, I think that's also John Kelly's highest finish so far. As I think last week was 10th place, wasn't it? Let's yeah, I think so. As uh, David Phillips confirmed the house, and I don't think uh, David Phillips is actually in team speed. Uh, I don't think so. We'll keep it on if he comes in. I don't actually think he's second place he is either Craig Lerman. So we'll uh, interview. We're going to actually interview Curtis Martin uh, first, then we'll go to Mike Bruno as Mike just burns it down. Let's go. Let's go back and look. Uh, I got a copy. Man, you finished fourth place, your highest ever finish here in the CFR Championship. Talk us through your night. That was insane. Well, uh, it really started off as a real interesting night because a few ye interesting yellows did start off, and I got into Delaney a couple times at the start with some damage, and it was really hindering my move. My move through the field, so I kind of came to slow down and keep that place and see if I could get something started. And, uh, you know, coming down to the end, we got really short hit stuff. Now, this is going to be somewhere on the next couple of days, correct? So, you're raising against good guys, and yeah, we had a few cautions as normal, but you managed to survive, and I think that's honestly what this came down to the last few weeks is surviving. Um, how much more does this give you? I know we're heading to Talladega the next week, and Talladega anybody can win, but does this give you somewhat confident heading in? I think this uh, gives me a big confidence booster in these cars. My first full season actually in these cars, so it definitely feels good. And plate tracks seem to be a place I can do well as long as I can keep my nose clean. Well, you're doing a great job tonight. We were talking about you quite a bit. Congratulations, fourth place. Nothing to hold your head down about. Anybody want to give a shout out to? Thank you. I'd like to give a shout out to my mom who's watching these races every week. <laughs> in and out, all my friends, family. And uh, you guys and the sponsors for putting on such an excellent rate season. Good job, man. Congratulations. Hey, it's been a good job. Thank you. User was moved out of your channel. Heard us, Martin. I'm waiting to see if we have anybody else. I don't think we have anybody else in Team Speak, actually. Mike Bruner, none of our top three is in here, which is odd. Usually they are. If they come in, we'll uh, get it. So, Hal, while we take a look at the results, give me your thoughts on the race. Man, start off a little, a little iffy. A little, uh, you know. I was a little concerned, but uh, as the night went on, <clears throat> the race got really good, a lot heated, and that ending was really hot. I agree. I thought it was, uh, honestly, I mean, I thought it, it could have been way better, but it wasn't bad at all. So. I think, I think personally, it's one of the better finishes we've had all season. I want to interview Mike Bruno real fast. He is in-game. We're just going to do it in-game with him, as well as our other top three. Hey, hey Mike Bruner, you got a copy? Got a copy. Don't hear him. Hey, Mike Bruner, you got a copy? It sounds like he's trying to talk, but he's All having right, issues. Ah, uh, there we go. 
Manny managed manage to finish, finish home, home third, third there. there. Uh, uh, up, up, and up and down the runs for you all night. Managed, managed, managed to survive, survive brought home third, third passing Curtis, Curtis there on that last couple of turns. Talk to you or not. I'm sorry, but I couldn't hear you out that last part. Talk us through your night. You had a good battle there with Curtis there coming uh, out of that, you know, last caution we had. Uh, but you managed to survive and finish in third place. Talk us through it. Oh, yeah, it was uh, exciting to say the least, man. Um, got caught in a lot of, uh, just had a lot of bad luck tonight, you know. Um, that's racing, just... Uh, Fought my way through it and didn't want to use that quick repair too soon, you know, so I saved that till like lap 60, 70 around there and finally burned it up and, you know, it was a, it was an alright race, you know, I just, I wish it could have went a little better, you know, but I'm definitely happy with a third place finish and hopefully go for the win next week. Speaking of next week, we go to the, oh gosh, ever popular Caledonia Super Speedway. Anybody can win there. Not much of a strategy, I don't think, going in there. Um, you're already locked into the next round of the chase, um, and people better watch out because that's why you're last year's champion for a reason. Um, do you have any strategy going into Talladega that you want to share, or are you just going to keep that to yourself? No, um, not really. You know, it's always a toss-up of whether or not I want to start in the back or try and go for the front. You know, if, if I can get the pole, you know, I'd like to stay out front and – Trying to stay out of trouble if possible, you know. But other than that, man, you know how it goes there. It's just, uh, it's 50 50, man. You're either going to make it or you're not. So, hoping for the best. Top three for last season's champion. Uh, good enough for you. Anybody want to give a shout out to? Yeah, man. Uh, thank you guys as always for putting this on. Uh, thanks to my teammates. Uh, well, Tyler just couldn't make it tonight. He's, uh, he's, uh, kind of ill right now. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys. And, uh, Good race and good win by uh, David there. Good job, man. We'll talk to you next week. 10 4, bud. Thanks. Hey, Craig Lerman, you got a copy? Yes, sir. I got you. Man, best finish ever. CFR championship. Uh, not for lack of trying, that's for sure. You've been up front multiple times. Talk us through your night. That was an exciting race for you. Uh, you think you would have had anything for David there towards the end? Yeah, I, I don't think I had it for David. It just seemed a little faster there, so I, I gave it everything I had. I enjoyed it. It's a great, great league, great guys to race with. A lot of fun. Uh, Paddled my way back up to the front, front back there. You know, I'm going to be honest. I'll, I'm always honest. Uh, Tyler Tosh got wrecked out. He was, you know, up there as well, uh, some of the fastest. But really, between you top three guys, with David, Craig, and we've seen Mike up there as well, you, uh, you guys deserve to be up there. Um now, you've had an up and down season when you came to race say, here, um, but does this give you momentum for future races that you're going to be in, uh, knowing that you can run up front and really race good with some of these guys? Yeah, yeah, it does. It's uh, it's exciting. I'm learning a lot. I watch Mike Bruno a lot. Great driver. Uh, learning from him, Tyler, another great driver. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited looking and going forward, yeah. Good job, man. Anybody want to give a shout out to? You? That was a great finish by you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, obviously, I uh, dated there for a great, great run. You guys are doing what you do, and uh, for my wife putting up with me and racing as much as I have. Been. I agree 100 percent with that one. Good job, man. Talk to you soon. All right, we'll see you at Talladega. Thanks. You too. Bye. Hey, David Phillips, got a copy. Sounds muted. The yeah, FR Championship is first place, first win. So, new winner here tonight. That's very impressed to see this late in the season. Uh, we're going to be live here again on Tuesday for the Oval Simpleman Game Calls from Bristol. It's going to be a fun race. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to you all soon. Uh, how you got anything else to say? No, guys. Um, be sure to check out my uh, my own channel over at youtube.com slash SinisterGamingDev. And uh, be sure to... Have the full race up. Yeah, yeah, I won't <laughs> screw it up. And, uh, you know, subscribe, thumbs up, whatever you need to do with Center Force TV. Oh, wait, you're not on Center Force TV, are you? Well, it's supposed to be, but until I change my name, I'm not. Not until it lets me change it. Right. So it's Chapman Outdoors right now. Yeah.
Be sure to subscribe to Chapman Outdoors. He's the man. You can't go without the man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>